Hello all, welcome to Bro Linear. This is RP here recording video on 13th of August 2022. We'll be doing Nifty's analysis for the next week with indicators. Then we'll check Elliott Wave. After that, we'll check Option Chain and we will try to analyze what is going to happen in the next week. So before we go ahead, uh, let's discuss what we had discussed previously in last week or our uh, previous analysis. So in previous analysis, we had a view that Nifty was making W, X, Y, X, X and Z wave. With that, we, uh, th that analysis, we could say that our correction ended here and we have started a big rally up, up ahead. But that doesn't look to be a picture looking at this particular move and this, this doesn't look the bullish move. So what we are assuming now is Nifty is heading higher in the form of ABC correction and this wave count is a little bit incorrect. We have to adjust this wave count. So with that, we adjusted the wave count last time. So this was the adjustment that we did. So that this, this adjustment we did on uh, 10th August. And here you can say that we have counted wave A, B and C. This is W wave and this is X wave, which is connecting wave. And currently it's A wave here. And then a B wave will complete here, somewhere here near 18,040 is the next number because it has already crossed 17,625. So it can hit 18,000. That's uh, one thing to remember. Even if it crosses 18,114, then it can be expanded flat correction. But in that case, I would also con I will be also a little bit skeptical about my analysis and I could be going wrong in that case. So yeah, there is a doubt here. Uh, if it if it breaks this and then suddenly starts the fall, then whether it's an uh, expanded flat correction or it has started the fresh rally. So yeah, one thing we need to remember is we need a 200 to 300 points drop in a single day to confirm that the fall has started until then then we can still assume that it is going towards 18,040 minimum. So this will be wave B here, uh, what, what we are assuming, okay, somewhere near 1840. It should not break this number, 18115. I'm, I'm uh, more inclined towards this rather than expanded flood because expanded flood will be more devastating <laughs> going on the downside. So wave C will be five wave structure in both cases, whether it's expanded flood or a normal flood. So wave C will break this low and make a small low. Let's say 15,183 is a previous low. So it will make a low near 15,000, somewhere near 15,000. We can assume uh, that in, in the wave C. Uh, now let's check with the indicators. So in last week uh, with indicators, we discussed that Nifty is heading towards uh, 17,800 resistance. Once it crosses 17,650 resistance. So with 17,650, it has easily crossed. So this was the line that we have drawn. So now this week I have drawn this line where I see multiple touch points, right? So we need to judge the multiple touch points and with the price action, we can find out those particular points as a re uh, resistance or supports. So these are the points where you can potentially see a resistance, right? So here there was, there are four points. So this is good enough. This resistance is good enough after this. 17,800, we can directly assume that it is going towards 18,000. So 17,800 is a major resistance now. So what we are expecting is a drop anywhere below 18,114, uh, 18,115, right? 18,115, if it does not break, then it will start the drop. And here, as per the indicators and everything is bullish, this is 13 EMA, Nifty is trading well above that, uh, all 48, and 200 and 100 EMA, they have given the crossover. So now 48 EMA has crossed all the long-term moving averages. So this is again bullish signal. Uh, RSI is above 80, which is overbought situation, uh, but not until it, it is proven that it is overbought. And here you can see Aron indicator is highly bullish uh, with green line trading above 70 and red line trading below 30. It is considered as highly bullish mode. So same picture you can see around here when it, it, it gave this move, right? This much move it gave, right? So similarly, it is bullish in a bullish zone. We should have been able to identify once it gave the crossover here itself. And after this gap, gap of opening, we should have think thought that it is heading higher. 
So this is how the indicators are telling. And the resistance that I want to watch is 17,800 next resistance, which I want to watch. And if I take intraday positions, I want to square off near this resistance and or, or trail the positions. I would not want to carry over the positions for uh, bigger targets beyond 18,000. So near 18,000, we should face the resistance. So that's how my I'm reading the indicators based analysis and even a price based uh, price action based analysis. So let's switch to Elliott wave and try to analyze what is happening. So uh, for that, uh, I have uh, plotted Elliott wave on SGX Nifty. Whether we plot on SGX Nifty or Nifty, both are same because they are moving in the same fashion. SGX Nifty is just a derivative or a future contract of Nifty. On Nifty also, I have the chart. I have previously shown it to you. So let's talk about in terms of SGX because I have this chart ready with me. So uh, here there was a COVID low, uh, which was 7,511 uh, 7, in Nifty, but on SGX, this number will be different because it trades on premium, right? So initially it made a leading diagonal in a wave one, wave two drop here. Then internally th like third wave was in progress here. After the budget, the third wave got over and then we had a correction. So one, two, three, four. Internally it has one, two, okay. And three, four, five. So internally this three wave also has one, two, three, four and five, right? So this is how it has moved in a one, two, three, four and fifth wave. So fifth wave, when you take a closer look here, Fifth wave also will have internally five moves. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, right? So this is fifth wave completed here. And uh, we made a top near, uh, we, we, what is this level? Uh, on SGX, it will be something else. 18,613 on Nifty, it is 18,604. So after that, we have uh, been in a correction. So I'm considering this as a one wave completed here. Okay, wave one, two, this will be wave two and three will be more bigger wave in that case. And we, uh, after this is completed, we are expecting more uh, upside rally in the Nifty. So this can happen. Uh, even my analysis can go wrong. I, I can admit that. But yeah, so one thing that is concerning here, as we uh, discuss that one more low is possible below this. So one thing is concerning here, just that MACD has broken out of all the previous uh, highs of COVID, right? So this, when I plot horizontal line here, you can see that it has broken out even the wave, third of third wave. So this is third of third wave. This is the highest point on MACD. And there, the volume usually is higher on third of third and third wave. And yeah, so now what, there is only one concern that this is, this could, if it's a fake, if it's a fake breakout, or whether it's actually going to take out 18,600. So as far as I can consider internally wave patterns, I, I check internal wave patterns and then I look at MACD. I rely more on wave patterns than the, any indicator or any other methods. So uh, yeah, as per my method, this could be a fake breakout on MACD and we could drop. drop. I have a bearish view. Don't mind me. It can go wrong <laughs> as well. So, or, or you can, uh, you can think that it is going to go sharp up. It's your choice. I don't care whether it's drops or not. As I said in previous one video, <laughs> even I am holding some mutual funds. So I'm not booking profit. Even when I'm considering that it is going to break 15,000 or make one more low, I'm not going to book here because I have a different perspective that after COVID drop almost 50 percent of drop from 12,000 odd levels to 7,000 levels. Uh, the next few years, it should continue the rally and there is a no top immediately around here and we could be making some more highs and yeah, we should be in a more bigger rallies. That's what I think. So let's check now uh, Nifty and let's try to understand the waves that we discussed. So this is how we plotted the waves where wave one, sorry, wave A, B and C is considered. So this can be considered as a leading diagonal. This wave is a, a B wave, which is a zigzag wave and wave C is again five wave correction on the downside. So this completes the wave W. So previously what we were considering uh, was this wave count, right? 
so this was not having clear uh, respect for uh, channels you can see here it has broken on the downside of this channel but it didn't give the up move above this channel so this this looks to be a little bit odd and yeah even you can consider here it is respect it is going to respect here right it has given the down move here and here but yeah now i'm expecting a move about here but this this doesn't match up so i have doubt on this wave count and this could be wrong that's why i have changed the wave count more than that uh, there is a this wave which we discussed many times that i am doubtful that this is not an impulse structure breaking for the upside so let's uh, let's see uh, how the changed wave count looks like as we discussed w here completed x here completed okay and then y wave is in progress internally it has wave a finished here wave b is in progress and wave c will go on the downside so this can be called as a flat correction because this is looking an uh, three wave structure or you can even call it as a wave a which is a zigzag correction and then wave b and wave c as well if it is a zigzag correction it will go more deep okay so it should go deeper towards 14300 so for now as i am expecting a channel bound move and not big dip below this channel so i am calling this as a flat correction wave a sorry wave 1 w x and y okay so here wave a completed okay and this is wave b which has went more than uh, which is al almost going to the 90 percent and this is also looking like a three wave structure so five wave structure will start on the downside and taking it towards the lower end of the channel so what is the target coming in so as we discussed 18040 is somewhere near top is expected so i am plotting fibonacci extension so when i plot a fibonacci extension so you can go and pick the tool fibonacci extension from here okay and when i plot on this swing and this swing okay and three swings i need to connect one two and three when i connect that i get this number as 15108 if it makes so i am assuming that it will make top here okay it, it does not there is no guarantee of this 18040 top will be made it can even make 18000 it can make it uh, 17800 as a top depending on that the downside target will change so what i am expecting is 15k max 15k max on the downside it should hit when i am considering wave c and it will be a very bad wave <laughs> It will be very sharp drop. Uh, okay, so by the way, this is just an educational video. I'm not asking you to buy or sell any uh, securities based on this analysis. This analysis can completely go wrong. So you can decide yourself. I can be wrong as well. So let's move further and check what is going to happen for next session. So let me change the chart. This will be a little bit big video, but it is indeed will be educational video for you. So let me hide this and bring up the current situation on the nifty so let me just last time we discussed it will face resistance on this trend line so nifty has faced resistance here and gave a small move on the downside but yeah again if it open gap up then uh, we are expecting it to break this trend line by some margin until this is not broken we cannot say that this is a uh, trend line break as per the price action but yeah <laughs> if it's a expanded flat correction even the price action traders will be trapped here so let's analyze for next few days what is going to happen by the way the next session will be on tuesday so uh yeah here when i say a wave b wave completed here so even this has different uh wave structures but i will go with the zigzag correction in the wave a you can even call it as a w x here and this can be wave a b and c wave could be in progress right so this is also possible but i am more inclined towards leading diagonal b wave and wave c so he, here we said that when you plot fibonacci on these three points you get 1.618 as 17625 and 200 percent extension at 18040 so that's why we are saying that we are heading more higher third wave could be finished here i am a little bit doubtful here because third wave could be finishing here is as well and it can be an expanded flat correction pull so let's switch to one hour chart okay what i'm considering what i'm saying is this can be 
an expanded flat correction okay like this a b and c or even a b okay a this will be a of a b and c so this is also possible somewhere on these lines wave 3 has completed because it cannot be this quick correction right in a fourth wave fourth wave usually uh, gives a longer consolidation so yeah now fifth wave when you check internally here it is taking support on this line trend line so this blue trend line you can see here it is taking support many times it has taken support here and again here it has taken support on the last session of friday it has even broken this high okay this high was broken but not with a big green candle but with small green candle the hence it pulled back and now it is going on the upside so here there are no clear direction on fifth waves internal move what we can assume is it could be making ending diagonal ending diagonal appears at the top of the trend and i have gone many times wrong during this rally spotting the ending diagonal so it it can be wrong in this time as well so as i said wave one here two here and three somewhere near uh, 17800 and fourth here so at opening itself we will be getting the idea whether it's starting the uh, fourth wave or not so opening if happens near 17800 and it does not sustain for first 30 minutes let's say if the first 30 minutes has uh, red candles then you can expect a dip so again this is uh, looking like an ending diagonal pattern because this is not looking an impulse pattern okay so here as i said one more high will be made as wave phi as abc correction and then the dip will start so this trend line break is important so again in the next session if it completes wave 3 at opening wave 4 could go towards 17600 so it will be slow drop anyway it won't be sharp drop it will be slow drop wherever fourth wave ends that will be our point of contact for considering a dip so from here the dip will start the dip will sharp be down and it will break this fourth wave so we have to wait for this and should not enter the aggressive short positions so many times we have failed so i want to be cautious and want to look for more than 250 points of dip in a single day or one hour candle okay so in one hour candle if we get 240 points of dip then we can assume the drop has started not in one hour but yeah on a day on a single day if it gives this much dip more than this dip then we can assume the drop, drop has started so why we are saying that because of this drop is uh, okay this is 300 points actually so what i was assuming is one hour chart on one hour chart we can consider two 35 points is the length of this candle this is the biggest red candle in this uh, in this rally of wave c right so i want to see a bigger candle than this on an hourly chart to consider the drop so no need to jump on immediately and trying to find the top uh, i was going wrong on the analysis many times and yeah as per the elliott wave theory you should see a bigger correction if the correction has to come uh, like bigger candles in a correction if the correction has to come so this is one way to wait for that particular top to happen until that ride it and look for intraday opportunities that's what i can say so it's been a long video i uh, hope you are still with me let's check the option chain now option chain here clearly indicates 17000 is a major support so 17000 put open interest okay put open interest in lakhs is 45 lakh point 45.4 lakhs so this is the biggest number the second biggest number on this side is 17500 obviously right on 50 uh, 500 multiples you usually get the supports so put side uh, these are the two major supports but anyway 17000 and 18000 is a range for this month's expiry right so this is a broad range okay but uh, what i am assuming is 17000 500 to 18000 is the range okay considering the next pending moves and next few days moves 
so 17500 and 18000 is a range for the monthly expiry as also i can assume that so at least for this expiry even this is this could be the range more put writers will add positions on 17500 on call side obviously 18000 is a major resistance okay a second major resistance after uh, this number even this is 50000 people are still expecting it to make top near 17800 that can happen as well but in case it crosses 17800 as we said it is going to head towards 18000 so number of call, call writers on this side will decrease so same thing happened earlier it was 17700 which was bigger than 18 17800 so now some of the call writers have shifted to 18000 and 17800 so these two strikes from here the number has de decreased so that's what i can think from the last one or two sessions so uh, yeah same thing can happen here as well so yeah as i said the range for this expiry is 17500 to 18000 so this is the range and currently uh, 17800 could be broken in a next session so we have to watch global is bullish one more session of monday is pending for dow to complete its its uh, move and we will be off on monday on tuesday we will open so opening is expected on the upside at least small gap up is expected 50 to 100 points gap up we can see if it opens near 18000 again uh, sorry 17800 uh, be prepared that it can give a pullback as a wave 4 of ending diagonal in a fifth wave and then we could start the one more up move as abc correction uh, abc move on the upside towards 18000 after that a dip is expected so that was the summary for the entire video so i uh, hope you like the analysis and uh, do let me know in the comments if you need analysis on dow jones and snp 500 out of these two one i'll, I'll do the analysis of one because i have uh, plotted some wave counts there and this is uh, not exactly matching but this is uh, supporting my bearish view on the entire market so dow jones is falling more than us we are definitely in a consolidation uh, it's not a it's not big uh, fall you could say so the drop is not this is not a sharp drop this is sideways drop so don't no need to worry against this dow has a sharper drop it has came down on the downside so let me know in the comments if you need analysis on this and uh, yeah uh, hit like button subscribe and share with your friends so see you next time in a next weekly analysis thank you bye bye